Hi, my name is Molana Fajar, and I, accompanied by Adip Ujitama and Adip al Fai, are going to present to you our group presentation. Today, we'd like to talk about COVID-19 prevention in local area. We're here today is going to learn about what is COVID-19, why we have to prevent it, and how we prevent it. <coughs> so if the fight is told into three sections, first, we'll give you an overview of preventive measure at the individual level. And then, we're going to discuss about prevention efforts within the scope of the family. And finally, the prevent uh, and finally, the role of the family in preventing COVID-19 in small environment like Airstay and Airway. So, before we go deeper to the metric of preventive measure at individual level and so on, we need to know what is COVID-19. So COVID-19 or coronavirus disease is caused by virus, not a bacteria. This virus causes COVID-19 is in a family of virus called coronaviridae, and antibiotics cannot work against it. This virus is new and linked to a family of virus the same as SARS and some types of common cold. Unfortunately, there is no medication that cure COVID-19. First, we need to know what are symptoms of COVID-19. The symptoms can be included as fever, cough, and shortness of breath. In more severe cases, it can cause pneumonia or breathing difficulties and rarely the disease can be fatal it can cause death it's similar to flu or a common cold but it isn't so how does COVID-19 spread so there's many way it spread but we will take to example of it. First, the virus transmitted through direct contact with respiratory droplets of an infected person, usually generate through cough and sneezing. And the other one is individual can also be infected from touching surfaces contaminated with the virus and touching their face. What is the treatment for COVID-19? Fortunately, there are many countries in the world that already making and producing vaccines that are claimed to be work against this virus. Now, as you can see on this data of current case of COVID-19 in Indonesia, we know that COVID-19 cases in Indonesia are still increasing from month by month, from September to November, and maybe even until this day, the COVID-19 cases are still increasing. Hello, I'm Ujitama, and today I'm going to talk about how we can prevent COVID-19 in two different areas. The first one is within ourselves or in individual level and the second one is within our family. Okay, the first one, there is actually a lot of things that we can prevent COVID-19 to ourselves, but in here I'm just going to talk about four simple methods that we can do. The first thing is um, you have to know about the COVID itself. By knowing the COVID itself, it means that you know the how it spread, you know the symptoms, so you can make a strategy and and behave yourself according to the situation. 
The second is always use your use your mask if you are going going out, because if you you using mask, you are basically protecting yourself and anybody else. Because we never we never know who have so who have COVID or not. So maybe stranger in the street coughing or sneezing because you have your mask the the virus that spread from the person will not going to affect you and then uh, the third is you should considering to use physical distancing physical distancing has mean you keeping your distance with stranger maybe for about six feet physical distancing can reducing the risk to having COVID-19 transmission and the last and the fourth one is always wash your hand especially after you're going out because sometimes you you doesn't remember what things that you have touched and maybe that thing have COVID-19 virus in it so it may be the best choice that you are, you always keep your hygiene especially washing your hands because it's not really hard it's not. the next thing i'm going to talk about prevention method within our family um, i'm just going to talk about three points in this part the first thing is ask your family member to just stay at home because of course exposure to public area have a higher chance and risk to having a COVID-19 so it might be the best option to just stay at home the second is immediately clean yourself after you're returning home because you never know that you bring your disease or not so you just taking a safety st safety step to make sure that we don't bring in disease to our family so we can consider it to change our course taking a bath after we going out and the third is if it's not urgent considering to not receiving any cash right now but with the policies right now it it is a little bit loosened up right now so i think it might be okay to receiving cash as long as it's using health protocol like using masks or and keeping our physical distances Next, preventing COVID-19 in small environments. As an educated person, you can help people deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. You can help with this following step. First, know the fact and share them with others to help reduce fear and anxiety like what really we have to do and what we have not to do and then the second help the public to avoid hoaxes and misinformation and the third help remove the stigma a group of people who are perceived as carrier of the virus do not see them as a bad people or a negative people as a perceived carrier of the virus and then help each family to have facilities and willingness to wash their hand with soap and running water as we know this is small step that is very important and the last one help people know what to do if they experience symptoms you can tell them to self isolate at home or to go to the hospital to seek some treatment immediately. And that is COVID-19 prevention in local area. What we talked about was coronavirus spreads very fast. And then we must aware to protect ourselves and local communities from the spread of the virus of the COVID-19. The thing that we want you to do to protect from the virus are first for yourself by taking steps such as washing your hand, wearing a mask, then keeping the distance from others, and then 
traveling only when necessary. Then for the community, by providing correct information to the public about COVID-19, then strengthening each other to eliminate fear and anxiety. And that is from us. Thank you. Are there any questions?